Hello, and welcome to Record Talk. I'm your host, Glowing Cabbage. And in the background, we are listening to a little Eric Satie, Aldo Ciccolini on Angel. Very interesting packaging. It's got like this try, this thing going on. Anyways, maybe the YouTube goons will leave me alone. All right, I'm here to answer. Uh, Memphis Vinyl Gym and the Mrs. Perfect Ten contest. And I went through and I picked out the first, I don't know, 12 records, I think, maybe, that are Perfect Tens. And uh, I, just, I just wanted to share them, be part of this. Uh, I think I missed the last one. It's just so busy, it's hard to keep up with all of these. But I do plan to answer yours, Dave, and uh, Andy's also, when big holidays. All right, so the first record that I picked up, these are in no particular order also, just wanted to say. This guy is a legend, um, and those who know him know him well, and he just is, this was his swan song, basically. This is a perfect album, in my opinion. I'm New Here by Gil Scott Heron. Just an incredible, incredible artist in my in my eyes, uh, he does a wonderful cover of a Robert Johnson tune on here, Me and the Devil. Just an amazing, amazing, amazing album. If you don't have this, please seek it out. It's, uh, it's a look into this guy's mind that is just, um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's eye-opening. He's just an amazing artist. I love Gil Scott Heron. Another an amaz amazing artist, uh, and this is a perfect 10 record. I'm sure he has ones that are better than this, but this is the only one that I have, and I love it. This is Fela Ransom Kuti's Volume 1 on Celluloid. It has the unmatched re record or album called, uh, or song, sorry, called Shikara Olaji. Love that tune. Really good uh, forward Afrobeat. Um, just great stuff. Really, really fantastic. Fela Kuti was uh, an amazing arranger of music, and uh, yeah, I'll just show the vinyl on this one, celluloid. So Fela Ransom Kuti, perfect 10, no doubt about it. This is another perfect 10 record. Uh, you can't get this one, I do believe, on uh, CD. This is just, from beginning to end, one of the most soulful, bluesy, awesome albums with long tracks. Uh, this is uh, Johnny Lee Hooker's Born in Mississippi, Raised Up in Tennessee. If you haven't heard this and you like the blues, or if you even like Johnny Lee Hooker, and you think, you know, boom, 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 and all that, uh, you know, all those tunes that he has done, this is uh, bar none one of his best, if you ask me. Released in 1973 on ABC Records. Uh, born in Mississippi, raised up in Tennessee. How many years you're going to dog me around? Uh, tell me you love me. It's got a, like a, a little bit of a uh, gospel choir behind him, like shouting out in the back in the, with the back vocals. Just incredible, incredible band that he has playing on this. The uh, artwork is indicative of the music, you know. It's just, it's grunt, it's like, you know, dirty. Just awesome, grungy, just like awesome stuff, man. Just really cool, cool album. So yeah, Johnny Lee Hooker, raised up in Mississippi, or born in Mississippi, raised up in Tennessee, perfect 10. This is a new, a new album in my collection. Uh, this is a perfect 10 also, Flower Traveling Band, Japanese, uh, just psych rock masterpiece on Phoenix Records. Just be awesome from beginning to end and this is not one of those albums that for me anyways had to grow on me I love this just instantaneously it is just a killer album highly highly recommended this album uh, those who have it know how good it is for sure who have heard it anyways it's just amazing and this was a this was a surprising you know favorite of mine also this is a perfect 10 in my book this is a uh, hush arbors Arbiter, Arbor, I can never say that freaking word. Arboretum? Arboretum. 
anyways, uh, Oriella, this is, this is absolutely amazing. This is sort of like Will Oldman meets Neil Young. Really amazing guitar player. Uh, every tune on here is awesome. This was released just recently uh, on Thrill Jockey Records, based out of Chicago, Illinois. Amazing artwork. Just an incredible album, actually. Love this stuff. I'd love to find some more stuff by Hush, Hush Arbors. Really good stuff. This is a new record in my collection, too, that is just, I mean, awesome. Like, I don't know, and there's no other word. Those who haven't heard this, if you had, and you like kraut rock, and you like uh, sort of just really great music, honestly, the, the, the feelies. Crazy Rhythms, amazing record, released in, uh, I don't know, but uh, anyways, it's, it's, it's an incredible record, the feelies. Uh, another album that is a perfect 10 in my book, artwork, music, uh, songwriting, Everything, composition, everything about it is just incredible. Bell and Sebastian's If You're Feeling Sinister, with the young lady reading uh, Kafka's, or no, uh, Camus The Trial. No, Kafka it is, yeah, Kafka. Anyways, it's uh, this is an incredible album, originally released on Jeepster Records and picked up by Matador. Amazing, amazing album, really great. Uh, another perfect 10, I can put this album on and there's not one song that sort of makes me ah, uh, like I'm gonna put on a different record. I listen to this whole thing, I love it. I always have, if for the very first moment I heard this album, I loved it. This is Bob Marley and the Wailers' Uprising, just an incredible album. I mean, you can't go wrong with Coming In From The Cold, Real Situation, uh, Zion's Chain, uh, Forever Loving Ja, Redemption Song, Could You Be Loved, Man, just, just killer, just killer. This is, uh, this was released in, I don't know, anyways. Okay, so another Perfect 10 album. I know he probably has better albums than this in his solo career. Uh, originally, he uh, was in a band called Smog and went and did his own solo stuff. This is Bill Callahan. This is Woke on a Whale, Whale Heart. This is just incredible. I love the artwork on this. This is uh, this is a really amazing. Um, this would be really great uh, collage work. This is just from beginning to end for me, anyways. I mean, many others will probably say that he has better than this, but I really love this. It's released in two thousand seven. Uh, really, sort of. Um, uh, what's the word? His vocals are so raspy and just delivered in such a way that uh, you hear every word and he just has this knack for making a, an atmosphere with his voice, Bill Callahan does. If you haven't heard him, uh, check it out. Check him out. Especially check out uh, a tune called like Sycamore or Diamond Dancer, both on this album. Amazing. I had a hard time fi figuring out which album to uh, to figure, to, to, sh to show. Uh, out of this band's repertoire, but I went with The Falls, Ben Sinister. Just an incredible, incredible, incredible band, incredible album. Uh, really sort of in your face, uh, melodic sort of rock, I guess you would say, like, but creative in an avant-garde way. Uh, the same every time, but different. Uh, those who listen to them will know what I mean by that. Uh, the Fall, Marky e. Smith and the Boys, they can't go wrong in my book. Um, I had a hard time figuring out which one from this guy's repertoire to uh, to fi figure out, but this is this is the one that I fell in love with first. Before I heard any of his other like uh, solo albums, I fell in love with Leonard Cohen's Best of. You can't go wrong with this album. I'm I'm serious. There's not one bad song on here. There is not one bad bad song on, song on here. I mean, you've got. Suzanne, Sisters of Mercy, Bird on a Wire, So Long Marianne, I mean, Take This Longing, Chelsea Hotel, Famous Blue Raincoat, Hey, That's No Way to Say Goodbye. I mean, ugh, man, this guy, I love it. He's like the, uh, I, 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 I kind of consider him the Canadian Sarge Gainsbourg, you know? <laughs> All right, so I had a hard time again figuring out which one, but I love this album. I picked this up just not too long ago, and it didn't leave my, uh, I didn't leave my uh, turntable for a few days. I just love the personnel on this and just the, just the driving uh, back, or not backbeat, but low end, like the bass and drums just 
kills on this album. This is Miles Davis' Pangea. Really great album. Uh, a 10 in every way, artwork, music, uh, execution. Another, I had to pick another one by Miles Davis, Bitches Brew, perfect 10. Groundbreaking jazz fusion album. Uh, you know, and the artwork, I mean, can you go wrong with this artwork? No. So, uh, just a couple more. Another perfect 10. This is um, probably one of my favorite albums in the entire collection that I have. This is Robert Johnson's King of the Delta Blues, Blues Singers. I mean, just unbelievable, incredible artist with tunes like uh, Kind Hearted Woman Blues. Just a springboard for many other blues artists and rock artists that came after him. Dead Shrimp Blues, Preaching Blues, Little Queen of Spades, Drunken Hearted Man, uh, Stop Breaking Down Blues. Just a force to be reckoned with, Robert Johnson. Perfect 10. I love the artwork too because this is apparently how he recorded it. Looks like it was, uh, I don't know, oh, I guess uh, an artist named Wilson recorded or uh, illustrated this. So. And another perfect 10. I don't know. A lot of music was influenced by this, the merge of rock and rap. This was uh, Run DMC's Raise in Hell. Unbelievable from beginning to end. Artwork, incredible. Love the use of uh, the muted colors there. And then the same on the back. I mean, Peter Piper, It's Tricky, My Adidas, Walk This Way, Hit It Run, Dumb Girl, uh, Son of Byford. Son of Byford. <laughs> anyway. Our D uh, Run DMC, Raising Hell. So there you go, uh, Jim and the Misses. Thank you so much for these wonderful contests that you guys think up. Uh, just incredible stuff. And I hope you enjoyed my top 10. So I'll talk to you later. And I'll be back with more videos probably today. See you guys.